So we get asked all the time, what's the difference between Sebastian and Vero Beach? They're neighboring seaside cities on Florida's Treasure Coast, but they're definitely not one in the same. Stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you why they are so very different. Carol with the Carol Home team of EXP Realty serving the space and treasure coast of Florida. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the main talking points of both Vero Beach and Sebastian. Also, why someone might not want to move to either city. Be sure to subscribe for the best tips on where to live and what to do in Vero Beach and Sebastian, Florida. If you want our free real estate guide and up-to-date market report, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to get that over to you. Let's start off first by talking about Indian River County. Indian River County is located in the Treasure Coast region of Florida along the Atlantic coast. The approximate population is about 160,000 people. And just a fun fact, Indian River County is also the seventh richest county in Florida. Um, it's also made up of three different cities. There's Vero Beach, Sebastian, and Felsmere. So Vero Beach and Sebastian are what we're gonna be highlighting today. And also another fun fact, Vero Beach is the county seat of Indian River County. Okay, so some of the main differences between Vero Beach and Sebastian is gonna be the overall feel and vibe of each city. I would describe Vero Beach as more of a um, small city with like a hometown feel. You're gonna have a lot more to do in Vero Beach in terms of um, movie theaters, different kind of restaurants, which would mean like chain and mom and pop options. There's shopping, there's um, uh, some of the bigger box stores as well as some boutique shopping, um, middle, mid-level as well as high-end. Uh, there's a lot of events that Vero Beach um, puts on all throughout the year. Things like boat shows, um, orchid, I think we have like a really beautiful, wonderful orchid show. We've got um, dog show events, all kinds of different things. There's even like, I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, like a pirate fest. So there's a lot of different festivals and shows that the city hosts all throughout the year. Um, it's also a really great place if you like outdoor sports. There's a rowing club, there's sailing classes you can take. Uh, there's, it's very, very walkable. It's a really walkable city. Lots of nice bike lanes that were put in in the last couple of years so that it's a lot safer to be outside cycling, riding your bike. Um, so there's a, a whole lot of stuff going on in Vero Beach at any given time. So when you're looking at Vero Beach on a map, you're gonna notice that there is Vero Beach within the city limits, and then there's the greater Vero Beach um, area, we call it like county area. And um, really the only difference between the two is the municipalities that serve those, so utilities companies and things like that. Um, but Vero Beach is quite large. It spans from really the winter beach-ish area, or if you look on a map, you can see Wabasso Bridge cuts uh, the line where Vero Beach begins south and Sebastian begins north. And it goes all the way down to Fort Pierce around Lakewood Park, um, which is a little bit north of the Fort, Fort Pierce Bridge, like Seaway Drive. So if, just if you're looking at a map for geographical purposes to get your bearings. Um, so Vero Beach is quite a large area. Um, most of the population is nestled right along that coastline. So we've got a, a barrier island area and we've got a mainland area. Um, as you look a little bit farther out, once you get to I-95, Interstate 95, there's really no um, residential buildings or, or residential constructions west of 95. 
So mostly Vera is nestled between I-95 and the Atlantic um, Ocean. So that's kind of where everybody lives in Vero Beach. And there's a lot of really great neighborhoods in Vero Beach, ranging from, you know, lower prices up to multi-million dollar estates. So it's actually a really dynamic place and quite interesting um, if you do live here just to see uh, the vast difference in all different kinds of homes and all different walks of life. So that's pretty neat. Um, I also do have some other videos you can check out about some of the neighborhoods that I really love here in Bureau Beach. So if you're curious, give that a look as well. Um, that is gonna be really helpful for you if you're kind of trying to get to know the Vero Beach area. What you'll also notice about Vero Beach when you're looking at homes here or home prices, house prices in Vero Beach, is that they are going to be higher than in Sebastian. And really the reason for that is you're gonna pay for the convenience of having so many things that are close by to you or um, close driving distance. Vero Beach does bear a higher price than uh, its neighbor to the north, Sebastian. I would also describe Vero Beach as a pretty healthy mix of like businesses, shops, things like that, and residential area. Whereas Sebastian is going to be primarily residential. Obviously you do have places to shop and you have convenience stores and you have things like that. Um, nearby, but it's not going to be anything comparable to the conveniences that are right around you in uh, Vero Beach. All right, so let's switch gears really quick. Let's talk about Sebastian, um, because it, when I'm talking about Vero Beach, I'm talking about all the things that Vero Beach has. Vero Beach has this, Vero Beach has this, but Sebastian doesn't. Why would somebody want to live in Sebastian versus Vero Beach? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Sebastian has the most awesome laid back vibe. It's really a sleepier town and really slow paced. There's not industry there. There's not a bunch of shops. There's not a bunch of businesses like right around the corner from, you know, X neighborhood, whatever. It's very residential, mostly throughout all of Sebastian. Um, People who live there really take pride in the fact that Sebastian is a slower pace and it's laid back. Think of like um, a retired Florida vibe. That is Sebastian. And it is a really, really beautiful area. Um, Sebastian is very well known to have the first wildlife refuge in the country, Pelican Island Preserve. and. Um, they really do a good job to make sure that a lot of uh, wildlife space is kept pristine there in Sebastian. Uh, if you've ever been there, you're gonna notice along the river is like some of the most beautiful, amazing wide river views. It's so, so, so pretty. And they've got this really wonderful walkable area along Riverside Park. It's also a great park with some beautiful oak trees, a little playground. You can go and hang out, grab a coffee and go hang out there. They do art shows there and different kinds of like fun little shows in that Riverside Park area. They've also got a splash pad, which is great if you have little kids because it's hot here in Florida and that's a really fun activity to go do with your family, with your little kids. Um, but yeah, th there's just a really lovely uh, area that you can walk and visit, they've got restaurants and different kind of stuff along that riverside park area. And again, the views are unmatched. So beautiful, the views of the river there. Sebastian actually does have a barrier island. It's just um, not really spoken about very much because there's really not much there except for homes. Um, all kinds of really beautiful like island homes uh, are on that, like we call it Orchid Island stretch. There's really no businesses, there's really no reason for anybody who doesn't live there to be there. There's not like shops or restaurants or anything on that stretch of the island, it's just residential. So you're not gonna hear a lot about um, the island, the barrier island in Sebastian if you go looking for it online, um, but it is there. 
and uh, it is really beautiful. You obviously can get to the beach in Sebastian. They've got some really beautiful um, preserve areas that are, um, how do I wanna say it, like public access beaches. Actually, we did a couple of years ago, it's been a couple, six years maybe now, um, we did a really wonderful nighttime walk to look for sea turtles who are nesting and that was really cool and I cannot remember the name of it. I will put it in the comments below, but um, it's one of the wildlife sanctuaries up there and they host these really cool guided walks that you can go and see like the sea turtles and their nests and sometimes if you're really lucky you can see a sea turtle coming out to lay her eggs. Very cool, highly recommend that. That's up in Sebastian. Um, Sebastian is also very well known for its boating community. There is an inlet that leads to the Atlantic Ocean there. Got to be a little bit careful when you're navigating. There is an inlet in Sebastian that is available if you have a boat, gets you out to the Atlantic Ocean. And um, it's just really well known for its fishing. It's like vibrant fishing, boating community. Very well known for some of the shipwrecks that have happened off of there and some of the treasure that's been recovered, hence the Treasure Coast. Um, so yeah, Sebastian is a sleepier vibe. Also really wonderful residential community. And the people in both Vero Beach and Sebastian overall are extremely friendly and nice and neighborly. In Sebastian, you're really not gonna find chain restaurants. They've definitely got some mom and pop type of places for you to eat out, restaurants you can eat out. But when I think of Sebastian, the most chain type of places I can think of are like, like an anchor store like Publix, Walmart, Home Depot. I think, yeah. I mean, so just for some context, right? There's like not a lot of chain restaurants or anything there. Probably the exception is like Dunkin' Donuts, all right? So a lot of great mom and pop restaurants there for you to take advantage of. So just summing it all up, I know those were kind of brief descriptions of each city, but whenever anybody comes to me and they ask me, what is the difference between Vero and Sebastian? Or why would somebody want to live in Vero Beach versus Sebastian or Sebastian versus Vero Beach? I usually come back to them first with a question. What do you like to do? What are some of the hobbies that you like to do? What are some of the activities outside of your house that you enjoy doing? Because that's really going to determine what is a better fit for you city-wise, Vero Beach or Sebastian. Um, what kind of experience and feeling are you hoping to have in the place that you live? That's really going to be the determining factor because each place has a unique um, a vibe is the best word I can describe it. A unique feeling that it evokes with the, the flow, the pace, the people. So, you know, any time that you want to pick my brain or get a little bit more information, I am so happy to share. Again, leave me some comments below and I'm like, I'm an open book. So I'm definitely happy to answer any questions you have one versus the other. You can also hop over to our great website, www.letsellflorida.com. Um, you can check out any homes for sale there. Um, we are licensed real estate agents serving the space in Treasure Coast. We would be honored to assist you in finding your wonderful home here or answering any questions you have or interest about this area that we do so love. So in summary, if you decide to move to either Vero Beach or Sebastian, you will be glad you did. They are both lovely places to live. Also, be sure to stay tuned for more videos and great content about our local area. Again, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team at eXp Realty. Thank you so much. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.